Sagittarius, you are up for the October money tarot energy reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right, so this is obviously the money reading. The love reading for October is up for all of the signs and the general readings for October. They're up as well for all of the signs. So if you haven't watched your love reading or your general reading for October, you may want to check that out. Also, I've done a collective reading for the new moon in Libra. I plan on doing the full moon in Aries, hopefully this weekend. It's because I was thinking that the full moon was happening in the middle of the month, but it's actually happening on the 9th. So I want to get that reading out the way. So yeah, whatever reading you listen to or watch, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Let's go ahead and hop on into this. May I have the energy for Sagittarius for October? May I have the energy for Sagittarius for October? May I have the energy for Sagittarius for October? What is it? That Sagittarius needs to hear. What is it that Sagittarius needs to hear? What is it that Sagittarius needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? Thank you. May I have another... Card, please. Thank you. That's interesting. What's at the bottom of the deck? Two weeks. Two weeks is at the bottom of the deck. I don't know why. I feel like somebody, because these are the cards that came out grateful and then ageism. So grateful and ageism came out. And for this, since this is concerning money, and especially with this two weeks, for some of you, I feel like you may be grateful that you can finally leave a job. And I feel for some of you, and again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I feel for some of you that on that job, You may be an older individual and older. I'm not talking about like, you know, 60 or 70 or anything like that, because actually the I'm trying to think the law for ageism, I believe it's over 40, if I'm not mistaken. And obviously all of you have access to the Internet. You can look that up, but I'm pretty sure it's over 40 is what it is, where that could be considered discrimination if someone doesn't want to hire you like if you're 44 or 45 or or what have you when actually those are the people you want to hire because the work ethic between the people in their 40s going up versus the work ethic for people under 40 just saying you know and there are people and I'm not saying all are like that I'm just saying it's it's a different type of mentality that that you're dealing with. So yeah, but I feel for some of you, there could have been an issue in the workplace with ageism and you were just like, okay, I'm ready to leave. And this two weeks makes me think of two week notice. That's what this makes me think of. I feel like somebody is giving their two week notice. Now, for others of you, it could be a situation where With ageism, thinking about age, because it's specifically discrimination against age. But since this card is out here, some of you may feel that you just want to do something different because you're you feel you may be too old doing the job you're currently doing. Let's say that one of your jobs is more manual labor. Let's say you're a waitress in a restaurant or something like that. And now you're getting up in age. As you get up in age, your body changes and you may feel 
that because of these changes happening with your body, you may not be able to do the manual stuff anymore like you used to. Therefore, you want to transition into a different type of profession. Instead of waiting on tables and doing something more manual, you may want to look to do something more at a desk or behind the scenes where you can sit down and, and work maybe with data or um, do sales where you just make calls or receive calls or, or something of that nature, but something that doesn't put a strain on your physical body. And because of that, you're grateful because you may have found something that you can give your two weeks notice at your current job and then leave. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let me see what's going on. I want to take another card from another deck. Energy for Sagittarius. Energy for Sagittarius. Energy for Sagittarius. What is it that Sagittarius needs to hear? What is it that Sagittarius needs to hear? What is it that Sagittarius needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? Thank you. So hand came out. And this is it, talking about manifesting money is what it's saying. It's saying manifesting money, reach goals, financial assistance. And then it says career, hands on work, help getting a job. So again, I feel like some of you where you are in a job, you were able to get out of it. And then bottom of the deck is tree. Financial growth. This came out in Scorpio's reading. Some of you might be a cusp, is what you... Um, or no, not Scorpio's reading, Libra's reading. It came out in Libra's reading. So you may have Libra in your chart. And this is... The tree is talking about financial growth as well. And then this might be a thing too, where you've saved your money or either you, investments have paid off and then that goes back to the grateful... Because now you have the ability to quit your job or transition into something else. And right under the two weeks, I noticed this. It says online course, non-college. So some of you may be taking a course. That way you can transition easier into another profession. And then under that one is unexpected money. Two. And under that is home expense. <laughs> so be mindful of what's going on in the home. Something may happen where you need to put some money towards something, maybe um, handling the roof, maybe um, a paint job or, or whatever, something around the house. And then under that is job interview. So again, I feel someone is really giving their two weeks notice is what I feel is happening. I'll go ahead and take a card or two from the tarot and, and do that. Energy for Sagittarius. Energy for Sagittarius. Energy for Sagittarius. Can we clarify what's on the table? Energy for Sagittarius. Can we clarify what's on the table? Energy for Sagittarius. Can we clarify what's on the table? What is it that Sagittarius needs to hear? What is it that Sagittarius needs to hear? What is it that Sagittarius needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? Thank you. Yep. You're moving on. And it's going to happen quick. So three cards came out. First card is the Six of Wands. So this is recognition. This is also a victory card. I really feel that some of you are quitting your job. And you're doing it for either because of your age or because you were being treated differently because of your age. I feel it has something to do with age. Some of you might just be retiring, but I don't really feel retiring is happening. I just feel you may be going to another job. The other card that came in six, six of Wands is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The card that follows that is the Fool. And this is saying go. So this is a new start. This is a new beginning. And then following that is the Eight of Wands, which is quick communication. And this is more Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So whatever this is, it's going to happen quickly. But I feel going back to the two weeks, I feel you're giving your two weeks notice is what I feel. And that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other 
podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.